It's Warcraft Day. Come play with us this game. Greetings, everybody. This is Stormy with the capital Z coming back at you with another replay quest. This is going to be from the replay quest series where anybody and everybody is welcome to send me replays. Know more about how you can do so, you can join the Discord server. Link to that is on the Twitch panel and in the description below. We got Joseph spawning over here at the 8 o'clock, you could say. This is, we'll just refer to this as green. Green Night Elves, Green Night Elves, uh, Sav, Savage 70 who is the replay requester in this game as well. He's gonna be spawning in near to the 6 o'clock position. Map is going to be the Reverse Turtle Rock as I like to call this. And that map is known as Tidewater Glades. Now, the Tidewater Glades for uh, Champions is different and the one for Reforge ladder is different because on the one for Reforge ladder you got like a you, you only got like two narrow openings and it's really bad it's terrible like the early one had an opening over here and that was kind of nice so I think champions opened that as well so which which which, which is a bit useful you know you did kind of need that keeper coming in from Joseph bottom coming in from Sav and their opponents are going to be players who are whose names are in Korean so I can't really pronounce them so we're gonna refer to them as team TL or TL so there they got uh, blade master coming in for the orc undead going in for late altar likely going to be death knight 90% of the time it is death knight we know that this game is definitely on battle net looking at uh, the things going on around main thing would be the map though yeah this is the battle net version joseph gonna oh that's actually sav sav gonna go in with his wisp detect a couple of things and just quietly move out death knight coming in over here creeping attempt has begun and everything will be on the mark going in for the giant spider camp gonna have to be a bit careful bit careful in taking things on over here this is ashenwheel forest and Ashenwheel Forest is full of giant spiders, it is full of dark trolls, it is full of fur bogs, and you'll also find satyrs over here. So these are the different creeps compared to the normal creeps that you encounter in your everyday Warcraft game. Because all the other Warcraft maps, well nearly 90% of them, or maybe actually all of them if you think about it, are based on Lordaeron summer tile set some of them are like Loran winter or Loran fall which have a similar set of creeps so yeah you get my gist there for country players they're just super used to going for the same same type of creeps there that's so that's like a big thing about Warcraft three players so i do appreciate seeing games on uh tire water glades mainly because of the reason because players get the opportunity to challenge themselves to be able to take on a different form of creep um we have the blade master wind walking back yeah this is like the really bad uh, opening and closing area you did this uh entry and exit point and then you got the big one so it's really bad if you think about it okay it appears to me that teal the blade master over here will manage to take on the under construction moon well at least he'd be able to cancel that we got uh, double ancient of war coming in for Joseph. I mean, Joseph's gonna try and creep out the middle over here. Here comes the blade, though. The blade looking for an opportunity to strike. He does have the opportunity to take out the free end, but no, Sav will deny it. Sav will deny it. Here comes the undead. Teal undead coming in. They're trying to go after the keeper, and that is a good target. Which is more squish here? The bottom or the keeper? Never thought about it. They're pretty much even if you think you now if you look at them, they're pretty much even. None of them are actually squishier. Okay, the keeper is squishier because of his armor. Just because of his armor. It's just one less, that's it. Sav and Joseph trying to push away their opponents. But uh, Team TL definitely have the bigger army right now. It would be a good idea for Sav and Joseph to just go back to their bases, cuddle up inside and fight near the moon wells. But of course, now you're gonna have the situation where you may end up losing the Ancient of War, and you definitely don't want to lose that. 
Got a lot of uh, units running around the map. It is, of course, night time. This is the time when, when Nidal players are going to enjoy their shadow melding ability, the Moonwell regeneration, the Wisp regeneration. Yeah, that's something I discovered very recently. Wisps only regenerate during night time. Now, how about that? Forces are under attack. Team Teal choosing to go in for a creep camp over here, the Goblin Merchant, but Sam and Joseph want some payback. They're coming in from the back. Ooh, lovely! Lovely arrow there by Sav70. A savage arrow there. It wasn't a searing arrow, but it was good enough to take out that creep and get the steel there. Or rather, the creep jack didn't really get a steal because the peer bottom was away. A lot of huntresses over here, and just in a moment, you can see the number of huntresses on Team Light Green right now. That's going to force Team Teal to TP away or run away. Would be a good idea to just speed scroll away. No speed scroll. But they're gonna be fine. Leaving the creep behind for Sav and uh, Joseph. For a moment I was gonna say Sav and Rook, but they're, they're the same people. Sav and Rook are the same people. <laughs> I'm gonna go in for some green camps. Lot of bouncing glaives over there. Gotta get to tier 2. Gotta get all those upgrades. Those Huntresses are going to show their full potential sooner or later. Normal bouncing attack, doing so much damage there. This is rather yellow though. Let's call them Team Yellow because this is more tame towards yellow. It's something between green and yellow. It's more yellow though, definitely. If you think about it now. As Sav and Joseph push in. Team Teal on the back foot. Ancient Protectors! Protectors coming in! AP push there by Joseph. All they gotta do is maintain the pressure, keep their units there. The Undead player ain't joining in. Horn Totem goes down. They're not gonna be having any Shadow Hunters, uh, Spirit Walkers coming in, sorry. Here comes a Death Knight with a Lich and a couple of Fiends, but it's definitely not enough firepower. Here comes a Glaive Thrower. Popularly known as the worst siege weapon in the game, but as long as it gets the job done, it gets the job done. Oh, speaking of siege weapons, now there's a siege weapon if I know one. The Demolisher. A mighty Demolisher. Epic AoE damage can be upgraded into... Yeah, can do that stuff. And can be upgraded into uh, being able to down burning oil with each attack which at least makes it look amazingly cool and also leaves behind a lot of damage there although I must say one thing the demolisher isn't exactly attacking its intended target and the intended target needs to be these APs over here these APs pretty much enjoyed a, a really good amount of time of uh, completely taking out that building uncontested and that was the barracks for Teal. A player's forces are under attack. Play throwers doing the jump from a distance. And now the demolisher is doing their job from a distance. But here comes the tree ends. Demolisher is going to shell away on them as well. Keeper gets taken down. Will this be the moment that Team Teal needed? Will they manage to come back and will they actually manage to take it on all these Huntresses? Because they are getting weak, they are getting low. If they take down the APs, that should be it for them. But here's the thing about Demolishers, they're gonna be taking a lot of beating as well from those Huntresses. They're gonna need some peons to repair. Voodoo Lounge going down back there. Definitely need a shop in a situation like this. Team Teal has just so many units right now. I don't think they're gonna come back, although they're still struggling. And by the moment passes, a lot of their buildings are going down. 
Now he's putting up a tower. Should have started to put up a couple of them early on. He invested in demolishers, which isn't a bad choice, but a couple of towers would have been nice. Auto attack, fire is just something you want to have. Come on, demolisher, go, go, go! Need to take out those glaive throwers and they need to take out those APs. It appears to me the burrow is going to be taken out. Burrow goes down, courtesy of two glaive throwers. Shadow Hunter taking a lot of damage. Gonna back out a bit. And here comes those peons, finally. Team Teal is push, putting up a fight, I must say that. This is a valiant effort for sure, but Sam and Joseph are just way ahead right now. They're gonna have to need a miracle to come back at this stage as the Blade Master gets taken out. And now we have like a mass attack on the destroyer, or rather demolisher, sorry. He's gonna position his glaive thrower at a nice one and then start chipping off against Stronghold. You're gonna tower back there, but really that position is not going to matter with the position they have now. And Sav and Joseph are will manage to take out this main without much of a problem. But they're not exactly trying to push there either because they got other stuff to other other stuff in place. The ancient protector will be the one that takes it out. It appears the peons are gonna try and repair it though. Not really gonna be able to do that. Uh, stronghold is already 25 percent nearing 20 there are a lot of hunters is dying i mean if the stronghold goes down there's like absolutely no chance of coming back even with a miracle so i guess would be the best idea for sav and joseph to take that down as it is being massively repaired now putting those aps in those in the position was definitely the best idea Shadow Hunter gets entangled, nuked to death. There are a lot of boulders being thrown away by those ancient protectors. A lot of boulders there. And the glaive thrower is still doing its job there from the back. A reveal. Wonder what he was looking for. And he did manage to push behind Joseph for the time being at least. But Joseph still got his trees there. The APs. That's gonna stick there. And Joseph should should be able to come back relatively soon. A couple of seconds until he runs and gets his army back into the fight. Should buy scroll of heal, scroll of protection, perhaps on the way. That should definitely boost their chances of not uh, boost their chances of uh, not losing the huntresses there. Team Teal, man, they're doing good. Are they actually gonna come back though? The stronghold is still up. Alter going to spawn the Blade Master. Blade Master may just be the difference maker. It's just a level two Blade Master though. Lich gets entangled to death. Blade Master will follow the Keeper. Keeper has a full mana pool. We're gonna have a lot more entangles coming in. And now the game's definitely over. There's really no chance for them to be able to come back now after the main went down there the peons are kind of alive but really i mean the under player really needs like a lot more than what he has the under player had like an 80 foot army that would have worked against the two armies of seven joseph player's forces are under attack it is a lot of huntresses Lot of huntresses. A town is under siege. 
Now the peons are fighting with the APs. A player's forces are under attack. Team Deal at least managing to well I wouldn't really say they managed to do anything. They lost their base really. It's not really gonna work out. The town is under siege. That's definitely not how it works out. Much of angry Karens A is on. Forces are under attack. This time they're heading in towards the same place they were. I guess they can just flush out the undead over here to make them tap. And that's got a TP though. BM goes down once again. That coil. The DPS man, that was a lot. That was crazy. They got so many huntresses that they actually took out a lich while the dead knight, the other hero, was trying to TP away. That's a bad time to come out. That's a very bad time to come out. And Team Teal calls for the GG. Handle the request here. I don't really know what kind of request I made, but... Anyways, good game, well played by both players. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and listening. If you have enjoyed what you have seen, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more. Just like always, I will be seeing you on the next episode of Warcraft Day. It's Warcraft Day. Come play with us this game.